Hi there. Algo trading in the stock market? Can you do it? I'm Champion Trader Kevin Davey. Let's find out. If you've been following me for a little while, you know I am primarily in the futures market. And I like futures for a few different reasons. One, you can get highly leveraged in them, which is nice. Now, leverage is a double-edged sword, but a lot of times leverage can help you out. Two, I like the diversification of futures. It's nice to be able to trade cocoa and soybeans and gold and crude oil, where with the stock market, if there's a big crash, chances are everything's going down. But with futures, you can be diversified and it's pretty easy to trade long or trade short. It's not as complicated as it is with stocks. And then the third reason I like futures, and this is more for people in the US, the record keeping and the tax treatment of futures is a lot better than with stocks. And if you need details on that, you probably should research it, but just trust me, taxes are a lot simpler and a lot less expensive when you trade futures. Okay, so all that said, a lot of people are getting into the stock market these last few years, you know, especially with the stock market reaching new highs. So the question is, can you algo trade? Can I do what I do with futures and can I do them in the stock market? Well, the short answer is yes, but the bigger answer involves a lot of little topics that are specific for stocks that might not happen with futures. And I actually have a class that's part of my Strategy Factory workshop that is now dedicated to the stock market and how to trade and test stock algos, okay? There's things like slippage. How do I figure out how much slippage to use in stocks? I show you. What about going short? Is that a good idea with stocks, especially when they've been going up so much? And what about that diversification and the correlation of a lot of stocks where if the stock market crashes, everything falls? How can I protect myself with that? Those are some of the questions I answer. You also have to know how to handle splits, how to handle dividends, and if you should even test stocks that have those kind of things built into them. So there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. And if you do things the wrong way, you're really going to get some bad results. There's also the question of benchmarks. How do you benchmark a stock algo? Well, that's something I've looked into and I, I think I have a pretty good answer for. The biggest issue though overall is hey, you know the stock market's been up for the past 10 years or so. So chances are most algos you create, if they're not long only, they'll certainly be biased to the long side. And so your performance will probably be pretty good with a lot of stocks. Does that mean they're going to continue? Heck no. The market could crash tomorrow. It could crash over the next six months slowly. You don't know. So that's something you got to watch out for with stocks. So to kind of sum it up, if you're going to algo trade with stocks, there's a few things you have to watch out for and account for that you may not have had to account for if you were just trading futures. I can help you with that in my Strategy Factory workshop, but I've given you enough tips here that you can go off and for each one of the things I mentioned, you can go off and research it and figure it out on your own. So it's they're just things to watch out for. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment. What have you found with algo trading stocks that you might want to share with everyone? I'll respond to all comments. Thanks for watching. I'm Champion Trader Kevin Davey. Have a great day.